What's up, squad? Let's fucking go. I need just need we just need the boy to get in here. Just need the boy to get in here. We've already FaceTime a couple times a day. The, the the tough part, the tough part about doing all this stuff is you come up with conversations and then we're like, yo, we gotta we gotta reenact this stuff or we gotta do it again. Shit like that. Yo, I guess, uh, hang on. So he might have tried to request him. No, we got Austin Dillard, Samuel Park, Logan Beck. Um, yo, so I woke up this morning. There's a, a video of the boys back in the day, Nebraska, Nebraska versus Michigan. And, uh, the boy and I, we do, we got at it. We got after it a little bit. Now, <clears throat> you know, granted, we were up twenty three to nine. It was fourth quarter. Like Nebraska, clearly beating their ass. Um, Taylor, you gotta, you gotta respect it though. The dude was finishing. He was, uh, he was showing a lot of effort in that fourth quarter. We have, we have a new podcast out right now with ba uh, Big Cat from Barstool Legend. Shout out Big Cat. No free shout outs. Uh, actually, that's false. He's a boy. So when you shout out one of the boys, it's free shout outs. When you shout out like Roback, no free shout outs. A company or a brand is no free shout outs. Just to clear that up. But uh, we had him on. Go download that. Go download that. If you're subscribed to, the, if you're not, first of all, if you're not subscribed to the podcast, subscribe to the podcast. It helps us. Helps us climb that little ladder. And if you're if you're already subscribed to the podcast, you go to the app, unsubscribe and resubscribe again. Um, again, it just helps us. It helps us climb the ladder. As you guys can see back there, we got shout out bus and shout out the boys. That's my uh, that's my little bus drawing. We got bus with the boys, six time risk champion. So in the, during this quarantine, um, the boys we play risk like every night, a few like probably like four four or five nights a week, and I just absolutely slay these dudes. I hope Corey. I hope Corey or Dennis, or Brad is in here, because I fucking own all of you guys. I'm not going to say Taylor, that's my boy. I fucking own Taylor, too. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Let's answer. Let's see what you guys got until the boy gets on here. Got like seven requests. None of them Taylor. Of course, he's fucking late. We're always on his time. You can't ever count on him, dude. Who wins a fight, Zach Patton or Charo? Charo's going to beat Zach's ass. No questions asked, dude. Uh, somebody call. We got a little got a little package being dropped off. Social distancing. Yeah, we had Taylor get on, but he he. Yeah, I know. I'm coming. <laughs> the boy. Hey. hey, the boy. The boy. What's up, dude? Who's that? Bobo. <laughs> what is so what is cold, Bobo? Cold what is Bo? What are you doing? Family right now. You doing IV tonight? No, no, different stuff. Bring a little bit of this guy. Appreciate that. A little bit of that guy. Appreciate that. A little bit of these guys. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. Have a good night. For those for those of you who don't know Bobo, he, for those of you who don't know Bobo, he's the uh, Nashville cocaine dealer. So right that's now? probably yeah, that's probably what Bobo. Know. That's probably what Will's picking up right now. Yeah, yeah, Bobo's our IV guy. He keeps, yeah, us, yeah. He keeps us he keeps us uh, healthy. Uh, Adam so. Bobo, shout out to Blake. Adam, shout out Adam Bobo. Taylor's actually going live with him tomorrow. At what time, Taylor? What's up with this Wi-Fi? Taylor, is it you? Your, is yours freezing? Yeah, it sounds. I feel like it is. I'm oh. All, All right, right the boys. I'm back. Did you hear my cocaine joke? No, probably not. No, I didn't. Hear uh. that. I made a joke that Bobo is the uh, national cocaine dealer, and it didn't work. Oh. Just because it, I, was, I was dragging. I was lagging. You know what? I feel like the delivery was there. The heart was there. The soul was there. And I'm not working out for the boy. Can you hear me? Why, why, yeah, why are you in the dark room? <laughs> I'm trying to turn on the t light. <sighs> I'm back. 
Somebody just goes, Will Compton has dial up. Jesus Christ, yo, I love yeah. you. Yeah. AOL, I'll tell you what, I popped on here and I was just watching you for a little bit. Just kind of like, just watching like how you work and stuff like that. And I thought you were a really respectful person, but then I saw you like super disrespecting everybody on how like uh, the risk game we play all the time, which. Who won last night? Corey. Corey who, did. Hey, I was respectful to you for a second, but then I thought to myself, like, I can't just yeah. do that. Like, I, like Taylor would fully on, full on disrespect me, so I had to chirp back. Well, you got fourth last night at five. Like, that's not very good. <clears throat> well, you, you know the deal, bro. I was – you don't just hold on to the belt for as long as I do and everybody not aim to get you the entire time. Right, 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 right. In your opinion, who's the best risk player? Dennis, probably. Dennis had the best strategy. He thinks two things the most. Um, no, he doesn't. He's never won. You play. You play it like you play with emotion. Is the issue like you get you get too wound up? <laughs> like when people start talking to you, and it's it's frust- It's like it's it's frustrating to watch. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's crazy. You don't want to give me my respect on here in front of 278 million people. I'll tell you what. Um, you are the be- You're by far the best wrist player. By far. Uh yeah, probably. I would say in order, excluding myself, it would probably go you, Chris, who was a who we added last time. Chris Arnold, shout out Chris Arnold, Arizona boys. Um, wait, wait, why Chris? I think it's he he thinks he thinks through the game. He he he's always thinking, and he I don't think he's dialed in enough with everybody to like have vendettas. If anybody he's got vendettas against, it's, it's me. But that's because we've known each other since high school. Yeah. I feel like I, it's early to rate him, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But if I had to say after that last last game, it would go you, Chris, Corey, Dennis, Brad. <laughs> Brad, <laughs> Brad, by far, Brad by far the worst player in the game. Because the thing yeah. is, it's so disrespectful. I, I Brad's know, won twice, though. I know no one gives a shit about this. I just want to. I just want to say I know none of you care at all about even what we're talking about. But just hang in there for a second. We play Risk on Xbox Live. It's the most fun game ever, especially when you get a bunch of friends around it, get them going, get the, get the headsets on. Because I'm not a gamer. Like, the farthest my gaming experience ever went was Nintendo 64, Super Smash Bros. Whoever wants that heat, we can come get it. I'm just saying. But anyway, we started playing this game, and it's, like, become a passion of quarantine life. You know? It's a big deal. It is a big deal. No doubt. How did you, did you pin that? Did you pin that question yourself? Yeah, just because I wanted to say, just because I wanted to tell Matthew, I just wanted to show him this right here. I saw that it caught my attention. I needed to address it. Is that feel like you weren't listening to me fully? Who do you? Um, no, I, I was. I was listening to you. But I'll tell you what, that that, that risk game. Anybody you guys want to get it? We it's can't fun. invite people. It's, it's exclusive. It's for I know. It <laughs> it honestly is. We already have, we have we have like seven people total that want in. I know. And it's That's like awesome. always cycling people through. I know. I mean, if we played anything else like Warzone or something, we could drop our tags in here, but we don't, I don't want know it. Know what that is? Telling you, that's like Call of Duty. Oh, I don't know video games like that. It's like Warzone where you kind of like fly in, like PUBG and stuff, and it's like the last person survives wins. PUBG is like the OG. Um, what's the one that people do the stupid dances in, and they that's kill each Fortnite. other in the mouth? Fortnite. That's, Fortnite. that's the one. That's what all the twelve-year-olds crush at. Yeah, and, and all the little white boys slay it. Out. All the kids, yeah. little white kids are seeing out in the stands doing that little There you go. Get, that your little pe- dance. get your piece in my face right there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice moves. What made you go mustache? Uh, I was just really getting sick of my beard. Yeah. It was just getting like, uh, I was getting scruffy. Like I was telling you earlier, like I was explaining that when your beard grows and your my hairline's doing what it's doing, it made me more secure about it because I feel like it stood out more with the hair coming out here more than up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I was just like, yeah, I'm taking this off. Because it was like itchy too. That's something to think about though is maybe you become that guy that has the bald head up top and the full beard at the bottom. It's not a bad look. I know, dude. But look at this. Look what I got going on. You know what I mean? Pull it back. Go like this. Go like that and show like the, the... – it's not horrible. Dude, I'm t- I know it's not horrible. But from where I like started, it's it's very it's noticeable. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, dude. Honestly, there was like a, a month or two when uh, Taylor and I lived kind of like where you live now, and like this is pre-bean. Sorry, I'm trying to say just an absolute 
fuck fest out here. Um, so when we like tailing like my hair, she was like brushing my hair or something like that, and she pulls it back and she's like, "Are you like?" She got me freaked out that I was balding, and I haven't really been the same since. What do you mean you haven't been the same since? Just because like, she said you're balding. Yeah, it makes you think like in your head, like, am I actually balding? Is this the end? You're is this not, what it is? Dude, hey, hey, if I'm throwing a compliment to the boy, your hair, your hair and eyes. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you now, Bob. Hey, I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing the compliment to the boy. I'll tell you, if we're throwing compliments out today, Will Compton has the greatest cartoon style butt chin you've ever seen in your entire life. And I mean that as a full compliment. Like, have you seen the movie Hercules or something like that? He'd have that squirrely boy, that like that, that, cinnamon, little... that cinnamon twist <laughs> at the top. That'd be a nice, that little, nice that little feel circle, right there. That little circle chin. Look at that thing, dude. Someone said, Taylor, you need dreads. Dude, I literally, okay, so get this. I'm thinking about growing all this out, like deep, deep growing it out, and like taking like a piece like right here and dreading it. And just having one dread and then having like uh, puka shells and like, uh, I don't know. This guy named Josh Furman in college, he had this shit in there. He had like little gold things in there and stuff like that. And I thought it was dope. Delaney Walker had it. Uh, I kind of want to get it, no doubt. Yeah, it's got the little, I know what you're talking about. I kind of just want to dread it. Why not? Just whatever. Just before you cut it, dread it? Uh, yeah, I'm going I'm to get a mullet for sure before. I, I'm going to have a mullet for at least a month before I cut it. Like, cut it, are cut you, it. Are you going to put a design on the side too? No, I'm not going to go that much of a fade. I tell you what, soon I think I'm about taking all of it off and just having a clean face and seeing what I look like. That's disgusting. I know. I'm I'm definitely nervous about it. <laughs> Sometimes we look so confused. Well, Taylor, 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 said, Taylor said, what? I don't know if Taylor's referring to my comment about my dread hair or you cutting all your facial hair off, but I bet it's your facial hair. Well, wait. Taylor, what do you got to say? It's funny that... Uh, no Cross the tips. Will. Dude, so straight funny. up. Straight up, I had frosted tips when I was like five years old. My mom gave me a Caesar cup. I was like one of the Backstreet Boys. Legit. It was crazy. I hated it. Absolutely hated it. What do we got on here? Who all we got? Will Vrabel. Gosh damn it. What Will a Walmart, Walmart cop. cop. I'll tell you what. People pegged you from a guy like from Missouri. Like straight up like a heck. Yeah. No doubt. But hey, shout out Missouri, man. That's where I came from. I mean, Missouri, I, I'm, like, I'm like proud of it and also like, you know, disappointed about it. But it just mm -hmm. is what it is. Dude, I'll tell you what, um, uh, that video today of us playing in college, how dope was that? <laughs> I mean, we knew we had played against each other and we like sort of talk about it. Like you guys whooped us my junior year, what, your sophomore? And no. then like we, we beat you guys pretty good my senior year. And like we talk about it, but seeing that video – that shit was funny, dude. That shit was like, I don't know. It, it's just, I was telling you earlier, it's just wild to me thinking like we were we were scuffling after the whistle and who would have thought we'd like, yo, this dude, we're about to be like kind of close friends and also have a podcast together. Yeah, no question. I think that was wild. I think it's hilarious too, you taking a swing at the boy. The thing that was the funniest thing to me was that like, um, like I came, I came at you and I wheeled you out like I'm supposed to do. And then you, you, I came at you again, and you had the audacity to throw a punch at me, bro. Dude, and, let's and, let's be honest, and, bro. You pushed me after the whistle. Doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? When, when you're a backer, when you're like, you're way bigger than me, obviously, and you're like shoving me at the second level, and I'm already like, fuck, I'm supposed to like get over the top, but this is like an awful position to be in because they can just do what you're saying, wheel you out. Like you're already kind of moving in the direction they want you to go. And so I'm already kind of like battling in my own way, getting shoved. And the right, play is right. like over and stop. So it's like I'm kind of pissed off that I'm losing this little this little shoving match. I can't get over the top of you. And mm -hmm. you just continue to push me. And then the play's over with. Yeah. And my back is like to you. And your head like goes down. And you try to like dummy me, dude. Yeah, Fortunately, yeah, yeah. I turned around or I would have fell. And the, whist the play was over. So reaction, I you know, I got a swing. Not like swing. It was kind of like a half swing. And what's funny is the fact that you go straight to the ref, dude. Dude, because the thing is, here's okay. Here's the number one reason the, the w refs fucking hate me. I think we've all proven that. I think we all know that. But that's a perfect example. Refs playing bias. That's uh, that's I you I you swung at me. It's never the first person. Which yes, I did push you after or try to push you after the 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 whistle. However, because you swung, you, the second person is supposed to get the penalty. That guy or girl, whatever, 
that individual, the zebra, is literally looking right at you and then doesn't do anything. And then he goes, oh, that's it. And then I'm like, are you serious? Right, right, right. But, but to go off that, the second guy gets in trouble because he's the one who gets caught. You're clearly shoving me in front of him after the play. So he saw my reaction, and he's just probably thinking, like, 77, like, come on, the game's over. It's 23 to 9 in the fourth quarter. Like, just go back to the huddle and finish this thing out. Run the ball. Run the clock out. You don't have Denard Robinson, so you weren't going to win. Yeah, yeah, we had Russell Bellamy. I love Russell to death and one happening. Hey, you want to know what's funny? Uh, that's today, that's the game Denard actually got hurt. That's the game Denard got uh, nerve damage in. Yeah. And yeah. also, be, I know you want to go on a thought real quick, but – we had a podcast with uh, Big Cat, and we talked about how I only talk shit in the first and second quarter, like the, when we're like the game's front even runners. or we're hey, up. that is true. We called you a front runner. Exactly, and I'm not talking shit there, but I'm still I'm, the boy's still working. There's a difference, you know. What you I'm saying? are still grinding. You, are you know what I'm saying? Grinding. And then he's like, "Oh yeah. fuck!" It's like I'm sitting there typing my chirps and stuff, but I'm thinking like, you know, he's just like a, a nasty old lineman that you want to see finish. Like late in the game. They're losing, and you're going to see who who's fighting, who's going to finish the game. And I'll tell you what, 77 was one of those boys. Appreciate that, Paul. Someone said, uh, who's better at risk? If you go by who won the last game, he's trying to fucking call me. I know Yo, he's, he's trying, trying to sabotage to... the live, dude. Yeah, if he call... hey, calls Tim, me, again, I'm just going to answer. Slide it, slide the corner down and hit the do not disturb. Logo. It's always on do not disturb. It's always on do not disturb. They shouldn't be able to get a hold of you then. Bring Ken and Des Kelly on there. Nah, that's how it works. If you call me twice, he calls. I, my phone's on Do Not Disturb always. Like, literally always. It's never not on Do Not Disturb. Hey, but, hey, but what I was saying earlier was uh, I was uh, I was laying in my bed when I was charging my phone and kind of just scrolling. And I went to YouTube and was watching some of our game. I went to – I typed in Michigan versus Nebraska 2012. How'd it go? I mean, well, after, like, whenever Denard went down, you're, who's the dude who went in? Russell Bellamy, the poor bastard. He had, a, he had an, yeah, yeah, he had, like, an easy flat route, like his first throw, and literally, like, throws it into the sideline. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's just weird watching us in college. Like, you seem way bigger in college. I know, I wore knee braces and I was a lot fatter. <laughs> and me, I don't seem like, I don't know. I was just, I'm, I was just like, that's just not – I didn't look solid. Yeah, someone throwing out that. that uh, first off, I just want to say you looked more solid then, I feel like. No no, no shade meant to happen there. But the boy looked ju juiced. But honestly, those Nebraska uniforms are trash as fuck. Not the color scheme. Not the color scheme. That Adidas super tight. Yes. It's the worst super jersey. Little, super little fucking jerseys, dude. I no question. Uh, like, be, where I'm, like, really insecure, too. You know what I mean? Who, yeah, be, be – B Rogues Eleven said to Jack Miller Pancake Will. Shout out Jay Thriller, Jack Miller sells insurance. If anybody's looking for insurance, go look at Jack Miller. Um, no free shout outs, Jack. So you definitely owe me some money after that. But yeah, I definitely think um, Jack might have got you. I don't know. Would you play Mike then? What do you mean, Jack would have got me? He, he probably did get you, Jack Miller. Like Pancake, he, I, he played center for us. Oh, you know what? I think he did. Are you really? really? Not like, oh. not like pancake. I like, like a, like a weird little finish. I fell type of thing. Mm. Like, it was speak, definitely embarrassing. It was like, oh, thank God, that's not floating out there. What we need to do, what we need to do is, um, go through all of our films of you and me and my, like me trying to block you and see how many you won. There was really in that Michigan game. It was only that one. Okay, so I'm two for two then. <laughs> You're not two for two. The only the only time you've, you I mean, you 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 win in the you win in the Nebraska Michigan one the one in the Raiders game was like a it's like nothing really happened. Okay, first off, we both would, did our job. I didn't make the play, so you're like, eight hey, one for one, and you're like, dude, you don't even say that. Oh, you can't even believe it. <laughs> that was awful, dude. Let's take let's take some questions, dude. You you need to get a bus with the boys pillow if you're gonna have one. Because I watched that NFL uh, PA thing before I blocked them. You need to flip it to where, like, the writing goes left. It goes left to right, not right to left. So when you're looking on the screen, it just says busting with the boys in the mirror image. Oh, so it was backwards? Yeah, no. I mean, it's backwards because the screen's flipped. Like, where our images are flipping yeah, out. Yeah, I get it. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. 
People, yeah. keep, people keep telling me to get mullets. I'll get a mullet. Yeah, I'll do a mullet. Um, Titans 42-21 over Oakland Las Vegas Raiders. Duh. Roger Saffold Pancake Will. Yup. It's Roback on the hat. The Supreme Frat, frat brand. Hey, Tyler. What's up, Tyler? Tyler Merritt's, dude. Pessimistic beauty. That's my guy. Tyler, I appreciate you for not crucifying me on those ribs the other night. You asked the question if it was in the oven. I'm glad I got to clarify. There's a lot of fucking haters on that rib picture, dude. Let me just say real quick, that is how that is how Tyler insults people. He asked a question. This is what Tyler did. Hey, did you put those in the oven? And he said, no, I actually didn't. But he goes, okay. And then he ducked it out. That's how Tyler literally – You said that, did like that. that was Tyler's shitting on you for sure. He was. But it was like – that was under radar, under the radar shitter, dude. <laughs> Taylor, do you count how many pancakes you get in a season? No, I don't. Who's yeah, Kathy Bates? Money, dude. If you guys had to leave the Big Ten, what school would you have gone to? Dude, I would have walked on to LSU. Dopest school ever. You would have walked on to LSU? Yeah, I didn't have an offer, so I, I, I can't say I would have gone to LSU. I would have walked on to LSU. Who's your tattoo guy? Iris Singleton. Shout out Iris Singleton. He's an absolute stud out of Michigan. Love to death. Zilly Dilly KC. I'm from Bonterre, Missouri. It's south of St. Louis. Fucking God's country, dude. A lot of stuff going on there. Toughest pass rusher in the AFC South to go against Harold Landry. Saints fan, but Luan is my favorite player. Had a dog shit game against the Saints. I'm going to be honest with you. It was fucking bloodshed out there. Do you think Will's teeth are too big for his mouth? Dude, no. I think he's a handsome boy with those teeth. He's a handsome, handsome boy with them thing. No pause. Someone yeah, said so funny. your head's like this. And then you I know, dude. I can't read the damn thing. Who is Kathy Bates? Who is Kathy Bates? Who is Kathy Bates? I have no idea. All right. Someone said Mettenberger. Yeah, Mettenberger was a stud. Crazy's Bo Pelini story. Big ass nose. Taylor, you're my favorite Michigan Michigan. You're my favorite from Michigan, okay? And Taylor is a smoke show. <laughs> Duh. Will Crosby Taylor, ever stop being fake and make an appearance? Taylor, how much, how much didn't yeah, it make suck? Hang on, hang on, Taylor. Uh, yeah, Max Crosby's going to make an appearance here in the next few days on Quarantine with the Boys. Who's the hardest hitter on the Titans? Rashawn Evans. You sure it's not Rogers Apple? <laughs> I'll tell you what, dude. Rashawn, Rashawn is a fucking missile. Here's what I respect about Rashawn, though. Is he doesn't slap around it like that in practice. Like, he's not, he's, he practices smart. Yeah. He doesn't try to fuck dudes up, which is really nice. What's, what's the boy's recommendation for a job in Nashville? I don't know, one that pays good, bud. Do something you love, okay? Don't be fucking around. Doing some bullshit hey, nine to five. You can come work. We can, you come work for us. We uh we expect a lot and pay a little. That's true. We do do that. So who's your best friend on the team? On the Titans, bro. Who's your bestie? Probably Derek Dennis. Henry. Not probably Derrick Henry. But like Derrick Henry is not my best friend back. You know what I'm saying? You mean like, you mean like, like if you were Derrick Henry, he wouldn't say Terry Lawan? No, probably not. But I would still say Derrick Henry's my best friend. I fucking love that guy. Sean is doing the team, Roger Saffold. You eating some in and out in Cali today? No question. Hey, so, the Riley King said that I'm in. Hey, do you ever think about getting glasses? Dude, as soon as like I get back to Nashville, which I'm getting back on Monday, these little dude, I gotta get LASIK or something. Yeah, the boys are back on Monday, bro. It's crazy how bad my eyes have gotten. It's literally literally been insane. Literally been insane how bad my eyes have gotten. It's awful. I yeah, fucking the, hate it. The fact that you the fact that you gotta do this is 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 that's not good. See like literally if I'm gonna read I have to do this. Lawan, will you give me a shout out on the bus if I get your jersey? No free shout outs. Um no, he wants to work for our tailgates. Saffold versus Incognito, who wins? I don't know, dude. Those are a couple big ass dudes. Legit. Yeah. I mean it's it's O line versus O line, bro. If you had to marry a teammate, who would it be? Marry a teammate. If I had to marry a teammate? That's a good question, actually. That's a solid question. 
Uh, Ryan, Ryan Tannehill, he just got burned. That security. That security, dude. You go Derrick Henry. Go Derrick Henry on that one. That's your best friend. Marry your best friend. No, no, no. Because sometimes Derrick gets mad at me, and I don't do well when people get mad at me for, like, for a while. Like, the day, <laughs> sometimes there'll be days where Derrick won't talk to me for, like, a week. It bothers you? Because I don't know. Like, I'll be like, Derek, <laughs> what's the problem? And he just won't even – he won't even – and then the next day we're totally cool. I can't play with that cat and mouse game, man. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the cat and mouser, whatever that is, whichever one's the one that messes with your emotions. Yeah. Hey, what you about – uh, hey, how about uh, Big Cat saying he alphaed you? He's the alpha. Yeah, okay. Hey, I've been told recently that I alpha a lot of people, so he can have it. <laughs> it was a moment for me. You saw my text? I know, I know. Taylor, weird flex showing the AirPods. They, they're literally just headphones. I feel like everyone has them. And these are the, the, the first gen ones, too. Not even those new pieces. Taylor, why'd you shove Compton after the play was over? Because it's business. Dad, I was trying to get that draft stock up, buddy. Yeah. Hey, Ref, did you see that? Did you see him hit me? <laughs> Would you rather have penis for fingers or vaginas for ears? I'd rather vaginas for ears, as long as I can still hear. <laughs> I feel, I feel why, like the, why, 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 though? Why that? Because imagine a bunch of floppy dicks on my hand right now. I was like, just picking something up. I have to get, literally have to get horny just to pick anything up. Yeah, but I, I would assume you still got function in them. And then you just, then be, they, you just, then be, they, you'd be coming all day, dude. No, I'm going to do, I literally feel like ears are already vaginas. The, the vaginas of the head. So you're just going to let, the way you'll you'll enjoy that is just getting fucked in the ears. No, because I don't want to get fucked because I'm a dude. But if I had a vagina in my ear, but I could still hear, it's probably less noticeable than dicks on my fingers. Yeah, but all somebody would have to do is come up like a wet willy and do that, and it's gonna you're gonna get aroused. You know what I mean? That's great. Then, I, but you know what? I'd be able to hide it better than my fingers being like this and not being able to bend them. Would you just probably finger yourself at night, like, before you go to bed? You know, first off, we all finger ourselves at night before we go to bed. When we fucking do those ear tips and we put them in our ear, you have yourself an eargasm. Them things are different. That thing changes the entire game, and you know it. No, it does for sure. A nice Q-tip? Yeah, for sure. Oh, everyone how knows often, what I'm talking how about. How would you say you Q-tip? Dude, I try to do it, like, once every – like, I try to do it once every three weeks. I try to do it once a month. I try to do it once every two months. But reality is, I probably do it once a week, and I, I you shouldn't do that as much. Once a week? Yeah, I probably do it probably like five, six times a year. Damn, you got some, you got some, you got some yellow green boys in there, huh? You got some yuckies. It looks like Bon Terra in my ears, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Let's go. Read option, pain in the ass, or death. What? So you're going to show your, toilet, show us your toilet again? Do you guys want the full fucking show? God, I swear to God, I don't get No, Craig, hey, check that out, Chris, you dig. Would you become gay for $45 million? Like, what is, like, I feel like gay is not a choice you can make. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, you know he's acting of a pure masculine way. No, I'm saying, like, like... Or would I just have sex with people for 45, like dudes for women? I, I don't know. That's not my orientation. You know what I'm saying? It's not who I am. That's what I'm saying. Would you yeah. do it for $45 million? Like, obviously, if you wanted to do it, you'd do it. Do it once? You'd fuck a dude for $45 million? Cut that thing in a third. Dude, don't even. Every single person on here, you homophobics. You homophobic assholes out there. Not you. There's not being homophobic. Listen, I'm, like, not you. I'm, not you. I'm, not I'm not pointing at you. I'm not pointing at you. I'm not pointing at you. Okay, okay. Listen, sorry, sorry, sorry. listen, people get grossed out about a lot of shit, okay? People get grossed. People think you see a banana with a bruise on the side of it, and they won't even eat the damn thing, but they eat ass, all right? If you – listen, be as homophobic as you want. Someone puts $45 million cash in your face, tax-free, and they're like, hey, you just got to – you just got to do this guy. Well, no, dude, that's, that's – anybody behind closed doors is not even, not even thinking about it twice. Get out! Get out of here with that homophobic bullshit, you you commenters, and y'all y'all all know it too. But that's the thing, and I try to tell people in the locker room this all the time. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? People. Anyway, here's my toilet. 
get all mad out here. Look at this piece. For oh! Press that button right there. Come on, Bob. <laughs> now I'm taking a pee. Life's good. Life's good. Oh, I'm all done. Light flush. That's because we're reducing that eco footprint. Bang, bang. Oh, I'll close it. Close that piece up. Got your, got your institute little, little deals there. Look, that's my favorite one right there. Is a little butt sprayer. Little butt with like titties. Look at that thing. You <laughs> <laughs> just showing our toilets. That's the best. Hey, little, little, little Q-tips in there. <laughs> it's different out here, folks. People say with a condom or not. Chill out, bro. We're done with that. Well, well, yeah. Well, you gotta you gotta factor in everybody's trying to comment, so they're just all delayed. See, Yo, my trash just said, "Let's see Will's toilet." Hey, people saying Jalen Ramsey's here. Jalen, I'm already pissed at you, bro. I saw you on Instagram Live the other day on NFL. I tried to join, but you were talking to somebody else. I don't. Know, they were from Louisiana. I had no idea who they were. You're trying fucking, to get to join? I was trying to join, bro. He's like, "That's white people shit." He's probably thinking that. Hey, I gotta get the boy up. Who's that? The jerseys. Someone said, "Come home, Randy." Dude, he's out in LA. He's killing it out there. He's so happy to be out of Jacksonville. <sighs> Yo, we've kept a steady two hundred and sixty something million on here like the whole time. Yeah, dude. Usually it's like three. It was three hundred last time. So don't pretend like we're doing better. Well, it's a Monday. It's a different day. You never know. You got to collect the data first. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yo, there's Jalen right there. Dude, I told you I was on NFL. I went to the NFL Network thing because you're my boy, Jalen. So I pop on the deal there, hit the Instagram live, and I'm like trying to join. I requested to join, and you guys were talking. You literally had you literally had your hair out like this, thinking you were sweet. You had your shit all twisted. You are going like this. And then you looked in the camera, and you started shaking it. And, like, you weren't even listening to the guy that was talking to you. That's the crazy thing. You weren't even listening to him. <laughs> it's wild out here, bro. Hey, we do got to shout out Jalen, though. That boy gave us some serious pub early in the season. Hey, I'll tell you what, dude. A dope little deal, though, when uh, when Jalen was, like, doing his best to get his ass out of Jacksonville. And he's yeah. like, um, someone's like, you said on a podcast recently that uh, the teams you'd want to play for is this team or that team. He's like, uh, <laughs> this is my Jalen Ramsey impression. Impression. Man, what, what, what would you say? Uh, on that podcast, it was that. What podcast was that? Taylor Wan's podcast. What's the name of that podcast? Uh, uh, Bustin' with the Boys. Oh, yeah. Bustin' with the Boys. Shout out Bustin' with the Boys. <laughs> Yo, that was legendary. Yeah, that was hilarious. And was then out? we put the uh, – yeah, we were, we were working out and that thing popped up. But the thing also was uh, we put that screen on there with the people in the bar, like people in the bar going to hand, like, ah, ah, what, what's the what's the name of that? Uh, I think it was uh, the Bustin' with the Boys. You want me to say the podcast? Man, shout out, bust with the ones. Ah! Losing their yeah, damn mind out there, you, bro. Dude, shout out Jalen Ramsey, friend of Bustin' with the boys. Dude, gotta love the kid there. Two hundred sixty-seven million people on our thing. It's crazy out here. Wait, wait, one of them's Jalen. Hey, Corey's on here. Corey, hey, Corey, said, let's go, guys. Brad wants to play some Risk. I, I'm not on the Risk game tonight. Hey, real quick, Jalen, if you're still on here, which I know you I'll, are, I'll see if he is. I'll see if he is. All right. Yeah, said, okay, so someone said forty-five million dollars tax-free. I'm I'm adding that in there, tax-free. Yeah, legendary, tax-free. Would you and another guy? And I think the answer is an obvious yes, bro. It's not even a question. But I'm asking you. Yeah, we'll see what he says. Yeah, y'all need from Walmart? Nah, dude. Will might need some with some wolf shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Will's voice or Taylor's looks? <laughs> yeah, they're shitting on your looks, Will. Will's voice or Taylor's looks? Hey, she's so shot town, baby. Hey, we could play. We could play right now, though. We could play a little game of risk. I know, but I just I don't want to be up till like one in the morning, dude. Here's the deal, though. I know. I know. Jalen got off that uh, this this uh, Instagram. Uh, he said, "Fuck no. no, I'm about I'm about to get a hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Fucking go, dude. yeah dude you got them la taxes though Jalen. you're about to get you're about to get fucked honestly you got 12 percent state income tax bro 
I'm out in Cali right now. That's fifty two percent. Yo, hey, Jalen, when you come back, when you visit Nash again, you got we got to go part two. Bust That's forty eight. That's forty eight million dollars. You literally just got down. You could have doubled your money just by doing the deal. Here. Just by doing the deal. Hey, what's up? I love how you say it too. Like, would you, you know, another dude? What's up, Ben? God, you're an absolute no. smoke. All you guys out there, follow follow uh, Kaylin, Kaylin Lawan on Instagram. She just shook her head no because she hates when people follow her. But do it anyway. Yeah, it's hilarious. Who's uh, who's um, who's the highest paid cal- uh, corner in the league right now? No, I don't know, dude. It's got to be Stephon Gilmore, right? He's good. <clears throat> I have no clue. That's crazy. Taylor, get the bean on this thing. The bean's sleeping, bro. Trying to get her on that national time. Y'all want to see Waffle? I'm out of here. No. You know you want to see Waffle, dude. Straight. Byron Jones, Byron Jones is the most paid dude in the league. Paid corner. Hey, yo, Taylor, if you could uh, – let's go, Mike. Shout out Mike Campanero. Yeah, I love Cam. I love Cam, if bro. If you could go back and kill the first person to start Corona, but you get life in prison in China, or you just have what's happening right now, like this pandemic, what would you choose? Would you go back and kill the person that started Corona and save save the world, keep the pandemic from happening, or would you keep life the way it is right now? Ah, oh, damn, dude. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a hero like that. I don't know if I could do that. Life in prison? That's what I'm in China, too. Yeah, I don't know what it's like over there. I've never been in China. I don't know. What's up? Oh, you should hear yeah, your dog? Yeah, I know, but it sounds bad. Oh, you see yeah. her? Hey, yeah. I'm with you, though. I, I, <laughs> hey, I'm not the hero everybody needs. <laughs> no, no, no. Somebody will have to pull that trigger. Oh, what's up, Waffle? Oh, we got the kid. Oh, she's out of there. Waffle. Bubble, come on. Everybody wants to see you. Here, come here. Come on. Up. Are we just comparing dogs now? All right. Yeah. I'll get her to try to, uh, I'll get her to try to perform. What up, I, love how we're ba- I love how we're basically just FaceTiming right now. Waffle. Let me flip this camera around. Dude, literally. It's so funny how Waffles and his owner looks just like each other. And then look at the pen in, dude. Hi, pen in. What's up? See, pen has got one little black eye. Hey, what's up, babe? Say hi to everybody. Hey. All right. Have a little more enthusiasm. How many people you got? 65 million? 267 million. Waffle, go get it. Check this out. Watch this. Get it, Waffle. Oh, <laughs> get it. Hey, come on, Waffle. Get your bunny. Get your bunny. Mm-hmm. Dang. <laughs> Get your bunny. Oh, dude. Tell there me we go. Oh, my God. Oh. Good, it. good girl. There's, there's, the, there's the waffle show, dude. <laughs> Yo, it is hilarious. We still have 270 on here right now. Yo, it's crazy. All right, I'm out of here. Let's go play Risk. I'm not playing Risk tonight. Uh, I'll finish tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'll play tomorrow or something. So, so why'd you cover your tattoo? I'm just getting it removed. How many more? How many more uh, sessions you gotta do to get that removed? I haven't done a session all year. I'm li- honestly, in the last like 18 months. So I really gotta do it. I like four to six more. But I wait for this Corona piece to end. Yeah. All right, ball. All right, later. Grab all the highlights. Drop look the key. Look, look at this, dude. What? 300 people at the end? Damn. All right, Pin. All right, Pin. We'll catch you later, Pin. We'll see you, okay? Why are you call- I don't. I don't get the Pin. Like, I just feel like you confuse it. <laughs> if you rub Pin right here on the thigh, watch this. Pin. She gets so weird. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Kittle Pod. Yo, the Kittle Pod. Here's what's happening with the pod. Right, go ahead. 
We have Riley Green. Shout out Riley Green. All three shout outs. George Kittle. Shout out George Kittle. All three shout outs. They are not. They are the two bus podcasts we have left. And whenever the life gets back to normal, we're going to need a little cushion to get people back on the bus. So we're going to run those bus podcasts when life gets back to normal. So honestly, when the Kittle one comes out, we don't know. We're doing Zoom pods right now until life gets back to normal. Taylor Reed? Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, so that's the podcast update with George Kittle. Maybe we'll have him on quarantine with the boys just so, you know, people can see his face. All right. All right, Bob. I'll see you later, Bob. All right. See you, bro. And we're back to bust with the boys with Cobb. <laughs> hey, all right, everybody. Go subscribe to the pod. If you're subscribed, unsubscribe, then resubscribe again, because that's how we build this thing and climb this thing. As you're, as the boy, Taylor would say, big hugs, tiny kisses. We love you all. We'll see you again on Instagram Live at some point.